In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. Yesterday, we were discussing verse number 91 of chapter 2 of the Quran, the chapter of the cow, Surah Al-Baqarah. This is the verse that refutes the excuse made by the people of the book in rejecting the message, uh, the message of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And it reads as follows. And when they are told, believe in what God has revealed, they say, we believe in what was revealed to us. But they deny what came after it, even though it is the truth confirming the message they have, they already had. Say, if you are believers, why did you kill God's prophets before? So, this verse we discussed in detail for the past two classes, but I would like to add some more uh, information about this verse. The beginning of the verse is worded as follows. When they are told, believe in what God has revealed. Which shows that no matter who comes to them and tells them, believe in what God has revealed, whether that is a believer, a follower of the Prophet Muhammad, or the Prophet Muhammad himself, or even Moses himself, if he came to them and told them, believe in what God has revealed, they will still reject. The way it is worded indicates that. No matter who tells them, Anyone who tells them or advises them to believe in what God has revealed, they will still reject because it was not revealed to them. That's the problem. You follow? And one more thing. When they are told believe in, as I mentioned yesterday, they are not told believe in what Prophet Muhammad brought, uh, brought you. No, the wording is believe in what God has revealed, indicating that it doesn't matter which prophet Allah has selected. What matters is that God has revealed it. This is the point. So that alone, because it is revealed from God, and that, of course, is based upon certain evidences that are to be discussed. It's a long discussion, of course, to discuss the evidences. But obviously, he's telling them that God has revealed it because there's evidence to support that. They would say, so as not to openly reject what God has revealed, they try to mask that and make it seem more acceptable. They say, we already believe what God has revealed. But look at this. We believe in what God has revealed to us. Again, showing that what matters is not what God has revealed, but what was revealed to us. We believe in what was revealed. They didn't even say God here because it doesn't matter where it came from, but... If it's to us, we will accept it. But to somebody else, it will not be accepted. You follow? They did not even say, they say we believe in what was revealed to us, not what God has revealed to us. You follow that? Yes. So the, uh, indicating that their, mo their concern and interest is in what is revealed to us, not really if it's from God or not from God. And they will reject yakfurun. The word yakfurun, it, is the, it came in the present tense. The present tense in Arabic indicates something that will continue on. It will not end. Did not come in the past tense, but came in the present tense, indicating that the people spoken to at the time and the people and the, all the generations that will come after will have the same stance. They will still refuse to believe in what God has revealed to Prophet Muhammad. Peace be upon him. وَيَكْفُرُونَ بِمَا وَرَاءَهُ the word wara'ahu here means, wara in Arabic means behind, actually. And we mentioned this before, min bayni yadayhi wa min khalfi, what is behind, what is in front and what is behind. Min bayni yadayhi, it comes repeatedly in the Quran. Min bayni yadayhi indicates something that is in front of you, it's something that you see presently. Khalfihi or wara, something that comes later because the future is still not known to us so we don't see it it's as it is as if it is behind us wara could be could mean this or that but this the the the, the use of the word wara scholars indicate that they have thrown what god has revealed to prophet muhammad behind their back and totally neglected it neglected it and disregarded it as if they placed it behind their backs you follow so that is the wisdom behind using the word but the word wara in Arabic 
could also mean something that is even better than what was given to them because it is more comprehensive. That is the that is that does apply to the message of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, that it is the most comprehensive and the most miraculous message. It had to have the miracle within it because there is no messenger coming with physical miracles after the coming of the Prophet Muhammad. So it had to be not only a, a text for teaching and guidance, it had to be a miraculous text with teaching and guidance. It had to have the miracle within it. It had to be self-sufficient as if it, as if, as if it is the Prophet itself. It does not need a Prophet from outside it to prove that this is from God. It has the proof from within it. And this is one of the meanings of wara. Uh, so in that context, which one do we adopt? We do adopt both. That it is wara'ahu, it is more superior and more comprehensive and more appealing and more convincing than what they claim to be abiding by, what they claim to be believe, that, that they believe in. But this is even stronger, so why don't you believe in it? But you have placed it behind your back. So when the, the, we can use the word wara'ahu to indicate the superiority of this message. At the same time, you have neglected that more superior message and placed it behind your back. It shows that the action is even more evil now. You follow? Yeah. And to show and then to show that they don't really believe in their own book, Allah says in verse 92, وَلَقَدْ جَاءَكُمْ مُوسَى بِالْبَيِّنَاتِ ثُمَّ اتَّخَذْتُمُ الْعِجْلَ مِنْ بَعْدِهِ وَأَنْتُمْ ظَالِمُونَ And Moses came to you with clear signs, but then still you took the calf as an idol while being wrongdoers. So this again is another sign that when they say that we believe in the book that was revealed to us, it is, not, it is actually a false claim because how can someone believe in the book and try to attempt or attempt to kill the 